this. You are now the tallest MVP in baseball history. I don't know if the guy that used to hold that honor is okay with this. So I want to bring in the former tallest MVP, Giancarlo Stanton. Uh, is there anything you'd like to say to Aaron Judge? Hey, man, I'm so happy for you. You know, just just being able to watch it front and center all year and seeing everything it took from the good days, the bad days. And um, I'm just happy I was able to be a part of it, man. You're incredible. And uh, enjoy this moment. It's, it's going to last forever. <laughs> man, I, I appreciate it, G, man. I know I, I know I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for, you know, your help over the years, man, all the way back to 2018 when we, we got you, man. I was always a fan uh, from afar, but, you know, getting a chance to build our friendship and, and uh, you know, share these memories, share these moments, man. It's, it's been so, something special to do with you, man. So uh, sorry for beating you out in the tallest MVP now. But, uh, <laughs> I <hope laughs> it <laughs> oh, so much fun. Giancarlo, thank you so much for your time tonight. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, no Giancarlo, problem. Stanton, join us here for the big announcement. So excited for you, man. Congratulations. You've been this close before. So my question really is, how nervous were you coming into tonight? Oh, ex extremely nervous. Are you kidding me? This is, you know, you're going up against Jordan Alvarez, you know, one of the, you know, top premier hitters in this game. And then, you know, Sho Shohei Otana, who's, you know, by far one of the best players on this planet, man. And, uh, you know, you never, never want to assume anything. But uh, it's, I was pretty, pretty nervous going into this, man, because both those guys had incredible years. And it's, it's been fun, fun competing with them, you know, over the years. All right, this is so well-deserved. So much hard work goes into this. My question for you is, when did you begin to think that a year this great, this historic, was possible? It, it, it's, it's tough to say because, you know, I, I was trying to grind out the year all year. You know, I was focused on trying to, trying to win games for the, for the Yankees and, you know, do whatever I can for that game, you know, tonight and, you know, win and, you know, wake up and do the same thing, you know, the next day. So it's it was tough to really enjoy it because of the ups and downs throughout the year and you're chasing a division, you're chasing, um, you know, a good spot in the, in the postseason. So, you know, it wasn't until really the past couple of weeks where you can kind of sit back and reflect on the year and, and see how, how good it was. You know, reflecting is what Harold and I do all the time. We're like high school science <laughs> teachers. You know, our students come back. They look different. We, we're still, you know, we're aging rapidly, and uh, we get to do the draft. And we were in Studio 42 when this really tall kid from Fresno State walked in. Yeah, man. And Harold and I are like, we would take this kid number one. Who is this? Aaron, when you showed up all those years ago in our studio and you were drafted by the New York Yankees, <laughs> did you ever think this moment that you're enjoying right now could happen. <laughs> you, you know, you know, to, to be honest, you know, you, you dream about it, you know, as a kid, you know, getting a chance to be in this moment and share this experience. Uh, but humbly, man, I just, you know, you never, never truly think it's going to happen. It's, and, and like I said earlier, it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of love and support from family and friends and teammates over the years. Um, you know, yeah, going back to those draft videos, man, what a, what a haircut, man. You, you could have helped me out with maybe a better haircut. Yeah, okay, uh, that's all right. That's all right. Hey, you know you're not the most famous person on that screen. Your mom is the most famous person. Now, we saw her so much following you all over the place. It's good to see her get to relax, too, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's, she's definitely relaxing a little bit now. You know, she was uh, she didn't put any extra pressure on me when she was traveling around the country and out of the country, you know, during the home run chase. But uh, you know, she definitely, definitely enjoyed it. Well, I, we've enjoyed talking to you. What a special season this was. Thank you. It was amazing to watch. Enjoy this night. Your American League most valuable player, Aaron Judge. Congratulations once again.